Aeneid Book 2, lines 40 to 56. So, as we've seen, uh, the Trojan horse has now uh, been uh, found by the uh, Trojans, the Greek horse, if you will, all full of soldier boys. And now we see uh, in this passage, as Aeneas uh, represents, we're going to be seeing uh, what uh, happens when you, uh, what's the term, say something same, sane and normal. There, first, why is it first? It's referring to Laokon, a priest of uh, uh, Neptune. There, first, before all, accusative, um, a, uh, g- with ablative absolute, with a great uh, crowd uh, attending, just like uh, Dido in book one, Laokon uh, runs down, uh, burning, flaming. He's uh, flaming from the uh, top of the, the height of the citadel. So he is looking and sees. And from afar off, adverb, he cries, O oh, miserable citizens, what such great is this understood insanity? Or what is such insanity understood that you're doing now? There's no verb of S there. Do you think indirect statement clause, perhaps, uh, or indirect question, we don't have a, we have a participle with the invisible essay, therefore it's a accusative infinitive uh, indirect statement clause. Do you think that the enemy, awektos essay, perfective, present, passive, but it's a depotent verb form, do you think that the enemy has sailed away, or do you think, more indirect statement clause, that any gifts, neuter plural, of the Greeks, danuorum, uh, are free, ablative separation phrase with that free, from uh, guile or deceit, is, pro- provide an S, that'll help, is, uh, uh, is uh, uh, Ulysses known for this? Or are the Greeks uh, hidden? Are they hiding, having been shut up? Ablative uh, place phrase in this uh, wood, this wooden horse. Or uh, is this machine, or has this machine, uh, paraphrastic, been fabricated, has been, perfective, present, uh, passive, has been fabricated uh, into our walls or against our walls? Uh, Inspectura, it, it's going to look, it's going to look into our houses, oh my goodness, and steal our credit card information, and it's going to come down from above, and then we have that dative upon the city, a dative of a direction, or some other, uh, some or some uh, trickery or mistake or sin lies uh, hidden. Uh, ne credite, it's the negative imperative, often used in poetry. Don't you believe it? Don't you believe what? Takes the dative, special verb, the horse, O Trojans. Whatever it is, I don't care what it is, Timeo, I fear the Greeks. Et being used as an adverb here, even ferentis, referring to the Greeks, bearing, present participle, gifts. Thusly, having spoke... He contorsit, contortion. He hurled a ingendam hastam, huge spear. Ablative of uh, means or ablative of manner, probably. It's adverbial. With all his might, with strong strengths, into the side, fairy, uh, genitive possessive, of the monster, and into the album, the belly, uh, oh, this is great, the curved belly, album is feminine, the belly curved with uh, jointed framework, so with uh, joints. <coughs> so the horse uh, has got the rounded pup belly, and in comes the spear. That, why is it feminine? It refers to the hostum. That spear stood trembling, boing, and ablative absolute clause with the uterus having been struck. Now, this is a nice phrase. We have a female horse pregnant with what? Pregnant with bad things. There's a lot of pregnancy 
in the Aeneid, and it's usually with bad things. So, and the hollow caverns, neuter pl uh, plural feminine, in sonuera, syncopated for our form in sonuere, uh, rang and dedere, syncopated of dederant, gave forth a groan. Oh. And this is pretty cool. So uh, we keep on going. And uh, if the fates, the destinies of the gods, uh, syncopated for um, heaven or metonymy for heaven, if the mind understood our mind had not been unpropitious or light, light is a better term, stupid, you know, foolish. Uh, now, uh, here's what we have here. These are unreal mood or contrapositives because it happened. He uh, had uh, induced us. He would have had induced us. This is a uh, strange use of the, uh, of the uh, unreal. It should have been uh, impuluesisit, but meter is a problem. And remember, we're still in a second or third draft stage. So he, which would be Laocon, would have induced us to bespoil, to befoul the Argives, the uh, Argive uh, lat, or, uh, lat, uh, hiding places, which of course means the Greek hiding places, ablative means phrase with a sword, and Troy, and he talks here, uh, stares, what's stares? Well, that's second singular, you, O Troy. So again, um, anastrophe, where he's or apostrophe, where he's turning to uh, uh, someone who's not here to say, uh, oh, you, oh, personification, Troy, you would now be standing, but it's subjunctive, so it's unreal mood in the present, because uh, you're not, you're, you're, everyone's croaked. And, uh, oh, uh, high, high, uh, arc, citadel of Priam, again, the unreal mood, you would now stand, you would still endure. So in this story that he's giving um, of the destruction of Troy and all of his wanderings, he starts very chronologically, not the Enmidius race that you would see in an epic. You don't start an, uh, a story within an epic as an epic, right? All epics start in Midius race. That's why he's almost there to, to, uh, to, to Italy. So he uh, says this story about the horse. We have some great metaphors here of the pregnancy of the horse, uh, and, uh, we have here, uh, and it's kind of interesting because, uh, we talk about that pregnancy, uh, found even before the passage is regarding the Greeks <coughs> in their, uh, hollow ca uh, caverns of the, of the womb. So we have a pregnant horse, uh, trying to, uh, the, uh, goal is that the Trojans bring it in the, uh, to, uh, to the citadel and, uh, the Greek soldiers are lying here. Now, obviously, anybody would see in the normal human range, don't bring a big gift of huge horse. It's probably got soldiers lying in it, especially when you throw a spear into it and it gives a groan and <coughs> you hear all this cranking. But there's something going to happen here soon that uh, what's going to happen? Well, we'll find out in just a bit. So, question. Will the Trojan horse go to Troy? Probably so because it's the Trojan horse. What will happen to Laocon, the sole voice of reason? What will happen to uh, the Trojans who bring it in? Uh, is maybe someone going to maybe find some uh, people droppings? Maybe the horse uh, is going to give premature birth and give some soldiers? Possibly. Doubtful. But whatever the reason, we'll find out next time, true believers. Until then, Excelsior!